This is Minecraft Medieval Fortress, a book written by Mojang in 2016. It shows off detailed blueprints of how you should build a castle in the proper way, with complex redstone, with a city and even a town. In this video I will be building a Mojang approved castle in my hardcore world, and this turned out even better than I imagined. But before we continue, this video took more than 20 hours to record and even longer to edit, so if you could subscribe and like, I would really appreciate it. Also join my Discord server. Yeah, that's about it. Enjoy! So today we're building a castle the way Mojang intended. We're obviously building a castle out of stone. So let's get a lot of stone bricks. We have a lot of shulker boxes. Now we have six shulker boxes of stone. So this here is actually the area we'll be using. It'd be pretty decent, I imagine. We already have a village here, so we're probably just gonna like, you know, okay, rebuild this village. Use the villages that still live. I don't know how many actually even live. Okay, there's two farmers here. A lot of terraforming was do before we could even start building it. And to help make the terraform quicker, I decided to kill the wither a couple of times. So now we've made a triple beacon, we have jump boost, haste and speed from this, so breaking down this area should be a lot quicker now. Let's maybe start breaking down the villager houses. Are you- what? What is this? Why are they here? Bro, I actually have to leave because they're gonna start killing all of them. Hold on, I'm gonna get some TNT, this is taking too long, I don't have the patience to break down all these, I don't really need all of them. And bam. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, ah! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> oh my god! Alright, it's almost gone. <laughs> come on, bro, come on, bro. Get, go, 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 go. With every villager house gone, I started the main terraforming. Alright, now that we've got this huge space, we can start constructing the castle. We need to figure out where the outer wall will need to be placed. I'm thinking somewhere around here. Later we're gonna remove this small hill here, so it's more flat here, going down to the water. We're gonna have the gate like right here. Should be working out pretty decent. And let's hope we end up with a castle. I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but hopefully it's gonna turn out well. Now it was time to follow the book, since I have no clue how to build a castle on my own. First was building the entrance, marked with a bridge, two towers, and a working redstone gate. <laughs> I think I did this wrong. I think I have to take this is a needs to be longer, bro. Needs to be one longer. Are you kidding me? There is something I must do. Need a lot of spruce resources in this build here. I don't have anything here, but I do have a wood farm at my base. Why is this so hard to follow along? I don't understand. My math doesn't add up. What is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. <laughs> Soon I realized there were flaws in the blueprints, specifically the details. So to not constantly worry I'm a dumb dimwit, for decoration and minor details, I settled for my own designs. The entrance looked like this. Super intimidating. I was a dumb dimwit though, and accidentally made the entrance 26 blocks instead of 22. Yeah, I just don't count with coordinates. <laughs> Now that we've got the entrance, we can start working on the towers, like the watchtowers right next to it. We're gonna have one on each side. This is what we have so far. It is actually looking quite well, I imagine. Oh, I can tell that I have not placed these uh, fences over here, so I could get to place those. Now that we have the entrance, we need to construct the gateway. So this is actually quite the complex redstone, so I actually need to keep an eye on the pages, because holy moly, we need a lot of stuff. I'm gonna go get all the redstone resources. I'll see you then. Mm. 
So after a long time of work, the gate now works. So as you can see now, it is opened. If you press this, it will close. Uh, you obviously you know, cannot go through this. But if I press here, and boom, there we go. Now you can go. I think definitely we need a bigger space. We might terraform this entire area as well. I will do a lot more terraforming now. Terraform this area, get it more to this direction. And we also need to terraform this area over here. Yeah, this is actually gonna be a massive project. <laughs> Alright, that's a little of it done. I think this is fine for the width of the outer wall. Invaders! Invaders for the castle! But yeah, I think I'm also gonna move this side just a little further out. And then do this as well. Maybe also cut this. Then of course make this a little longer overall. Oh! So now we've actually terraformed the entire area almost. I think there's still some fine tuning I need to do, but this is fine for now. So now we can actually... You know, start building the walls, finally. I think I'm actually gonna build all the towers first. So we're just gonna copy this tower all the way around in the corners. In like these sections that I've marked out. There's 32 blocks in between each of them. So should get a pretty massive outer wall. And I swear to God, I'm gonna have to destroy this entire hill. I'm probably gonna... Should I grab a lot of TNT and blow this thing to smithereens? Oh, Jesus! That blew up more than I thought it would. <laughs> what will happen? Oh, 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 that was good. <laughs> so this here is the area that we're going to be using for the outer wall. It is Mess. The book doesn't specify if you build the towers or the walls first, but I thought it made better sense to start with the towers. So over the next two hours, I build as fast as I could. Alright ladies, it's time for the last tower. Then we've made a total of uh, a lot of towers. I'm too lazy to count. So now we have built every single tower. There's probably a few like minor details that I've missed on some of them, but uh, we're just gonna fix that later. But right now, this is what we have. Oh, there's so much. Now for the well. On the picture, they also extend another layer of cobblestone out here. And do some, like, support beams up. I think I'm also gonna do that. Makes sense. You can also do obsidian border defensive walls. But I mean, I don't really think there's gonna be flying creepers in the future. Please, Minecraft, don't add flying creepers in the future. But as we're going for a medieval build, I don't think that's gonna fit with this build at all. So I don't really wanna add that. It's actually quite difficult to see exactly how I'm gonna do this wall. So I think I might just settle for my own design. Make something cute. This wall works, I feel. Matches with the other towers. And it blends in quite well. The first wall has been completed. Woohoo! There's a lot more walls to be done. So this is currently the update on the wall. So as you can see, we've done a... Uh, a lot of wall. It looks, it's looking quite sick actually. I really like how this looks. So yeah, we just gotta keep doing one, one, one. So we gotta do four more walls. It takes a lot of resources to do this, but uh, luckily we had a lot of stone in preparation of this. So that is good. And it seems we have to do some terraforming for this side. <sighs> how much? Oh shit. I'm out of both cobblestone and normal stone, are you kidding me? Oh, where is this? Where is this man? Oh! 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 Diamant! The outer wall has been finished! This took... So damn long time to do, but uh, it is actually kind of cute. I really like the depth that I put into this, the holes, the different variation. Now we're gonna construct the main castle, actually. I think we're gonna construct this on a little hill, so you know, the castle is a little above the other buildings. It's an important structure. If you're wondering, like, what, who will actually even use this castle? I'm actually gonna put my, my dogs and my, my cats. Uh, uh, not, not this dog, he's just a guard dog. Yeah, mate, you're useless. You don't mean anything to me, bro. <laughs> Bye. 
ba 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 A. A castle apparently has four towers, and you know them castle in itself, so let's mark out everything. So this is the castle. I think we could make the entrance over here, but I'm gonna make it over here. So you actually have to follow like through the town. The town will mostly be, you know, in this direction. I might have the cathedral over here. I don't know. First thing we're building is the towers. They're gonna give me a general idea of how tall this thing is, like which blocks to use, stuff like that. The pillagers have invaded my castle. What are they doing on my land? They have also invaded the walls. They've taken the walls. Ah! Yes, we got them, boys. Bring them the axe. The X of X's. Bam. 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 Yeah. The fortifications work well to defend our lands. Although it's kind of an issue if the things actually, you know, spawn in here. They're meant to spawn outside and try and invade the castle. But if they just spawn inside, like, what the fuck? And that is the tower, guys. It's a little different at the top where it suddenly got a lot wider. But it still looks alright. And obviously I don't want to bore you. Let's just do the next four towers. See how it looks then. And then start, you know, working on the wall. So I'll see you in a moment. So now all the towers have been built. They are looking kind of cute. This pattern looks good so far. Looks very nice. The book doesn't really explain exactly how you build the entrance. So I'm just gonna figure something out. Hopefully it will look something similar to what they show. Oh my god, this kind of looks like a throne. <laughs> On accident I just built a throne. Yes, boys. This is obviously, you know, a kingdom. And kingdoms, they need to you know, show off who they actually are. In the book, there are actually banners. They don't show how exactly you make the banners that they use. But uh, I'm gonna figure out a design that looks well. Oh, holy moly, this is actually pretty cute. Look, <gasps> it's sword. So I think something around like here, here. Oh, yeah, that's very nice. Let's go around and place these like right up here. Invade us again. Now this here, it is the castle. Oh, you cannot see, <laughs> cannot see the banners before you get closer. But yeah, this is the castle. Symmetrical on all sides, I hope. Now we just gotta work on the top part here. We gotta work on the throne room and the different rooms in the castle. Oh. I spent a while working on this pattern for the wall walk, only to realize 60% of it would be hidden by this. I don't even know what this is. Like, what the hell is that? This just reminds me of like a smaller castle on top of a smaller castle. What? This reminds me of a castle atop a castle. Okay, I haven't gotten the slightest clue what is happening anymore on this. This doesn't make any sense. Like, what he's... What he's happening here? <laughs> what is this? It's not even useful as a tower. What is this? Okay, I don't know what this is supposed to be. Not gonna lie, even after building this thing, I haven't got the slightest clue what this is meant to be. We're obviously gonna have a throne room. The guide also tells me that uh, there's like a library, a kitchen, like an area where guests can sleep. And I'm like, it's a space for all this. But we're gonna try and fit it in. I'm gonna leave like three, three high up here for all the top parts. And then I'm gonna build a throne room down here, of course. Let's see how it goes. It might go terribly. It might go very well. We will see. Actually, looking at the book. You might want to just build one big throne room rather than the top part as well. Because what is more epic to look at? A massive throne room or a tiny throne room with some small boring rooms at the top. Probably a big throne room. I, I need something good for my, for my animals. So with that out of the way, I start constructing an epic throne room. Then this happened. Ah! 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 <laughs> Holy sh! Oh, 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 oh. It was hard to get the throne room right, and holy moly, how do you actually decorate things? But it turned out looking very nice. Boom! Ah! How is this? Now that the castle is done for my pets, let's go get them. We have queen, we have king, we have prince. I swear to god, you're gonna s Don't sit on my chair. <laughs> this is your new home. Time to uh, place these guys <laughs> where they're meant to be. Yes! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> oh, this is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> so, well, now it is time to do some massive, massive grinding here. So now that 
final thing to do is build a little hill for this thing so it isn't floating and also build a bridge into this so we're gonna have a little hill here with a bridge going into the castle. <laughs> So here we have the castle at night. I'm not gonna lie, it looks super awesome. I like the terraforming I did. Making it, you know, be supported on something. It makes sense. Like, it's not just floating in the air. And this is something I want. So it's a little more lifted into the sky, so it's more clear. This is where the boss of the of the country resides. Where my animals live. That fire actually adds a ton of nice effects. There's so many things. <laughs> Look over here. Oh my god, there's so many creepers. Why are there <laughs> There's so many things! Why are there so many things? Okay guys, watch this. Are you guys ready for epic? Wee! <laughs> so this is how you want to build them. <laughs> ah. Hello buddy. How are you doing defending the tower? Ill. So this is a tower built in the way that Mojang actually wants us to build the castle apparently. And of course, finally, there is a space for my pets. For prince. For king. For queen. Part 2 of this series will be out soon where I build the city and the town outside the walls. But thanks for watching this video and goodbye.